Miller, how y'all doing today? Enjoying a little uh, cup of tea on a cold February afternoon. It's about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm uh, doing a little train running here. Let me uh, put the camera down so you all can see what I'm doing here. I love running trains, as you can tell. Right now we only have uh, one line hooked up because uh, we'll have a break in that other track right there. And I'm uh, going to be uh, changing out this uh, switch to put a left-hand switch on here because I want this to to uh, back up uh, from that direction. So usually in a model train uh, country, we uh, come on uh, one side and go on the other side. So just like on uh, driving your car, we're running on the right side of the track and uh, the other track will be going the right direction as well. So uh, this uh, switch here is not gonna work uh, in this location. Well, what I'm going to be doing in this video, my friends, is I'm going to be painting the uh, asphalt on this road uh, right there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have to uh, take apart the, the track so I can get to that bridge over there. And I uh, have to shut that train off. And So uh, why don't you get yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, whatever you're drinking. And uh, we're going to get started uh, right after these messages. It seems to be pretty easy to disconnect the track. I just basically lift this section up and I think I'll just pull this part off right here. And this one is where my wire connectors are at. So we'll move the bridge and get that set up on there. And uh, in the kit that I uh, purchased for making the roads, uh, I got a little bottle of uh, asphalt uh, top coat so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mix that up and you know from the other step uh, video that uh, I did I uh, put down uh, paving tape and then they uh, smooth it and then I came by with some uh, sculptor mold when I did this uh, area up here I filled in beside the road where I wanted it to go so now we're just gonna use what we got here we're just gonna paint and that's just basically a black color to look like uh, asphalt enjoy some music while I uh, paint this
fine tune this when I get the uh, rest of my paint. I ran out of that uh, base color paint. So here pretty quick, I'll go get some more of that paint. Touch up the edges. And a couple more steps we got to do with this uh, blacktop road. We've got to sand it down with some 1200 grit sandpaper. Then we got to put our uh, highway lines on there, our, our white lines and our uh, yellow lines going down the middle. Then our stop intersection lines have to be put down. Starting to work up in this uh, elevated ramp go up over the tracks. What I'll do is I'll just paint across there, then I'll clean the track off from the paint after I'm done. You're in a cat uh, falling on the door because uh, the wife's in the bathroom. The door closed, the cat don't like it. these uh, HO uh, crossing things here just to flatten down the sculptor mold when I put it in there because I'm uh, planning to use actual working uh, flashing lights out on each of my intersections. I'll be uh, showing that in some upcoming videos. Looks like a brand new uh, asphalt road. But we're gonna age it and make it look like it's uh, well weathered. Been there for a while. Next to the bridge. Real delicate like. Debating about whether or not to paint those bridges uh, um, with the uh, asphalt color or to leave them the color of the concrete. Why don't y'all make a comment below and tell me what you think it would look best. Bring in the, the blacktop across the bridge or leaving it concrete and then start the blacktop on the other side of the bridge. I'm thinking uh, probably 
by bringing it on there, but I'll talk it over with the wife. Put a second coat on here, and like I said, we're going to sand a lot of this off of here. But just get a nice coverage because it'll look better when it's uh, done. Drift over my track here. That's why uh, that's just a base coat of uh, color. Sure does look like a black top asphalt road to me. I've seen a lot of these being uh, poured for the first time. It's got a few. Uh, potholes in it because like I said I intended it to be that way for the age of the road. Well my friends I think uh, I'm gonna call that uh, done. Got a little bit when I, if I want to do the roads we got a little bit left in here and we can be able to do that with it. I'm gonna leave the the parking lot I'm gonna leave that uh, concrete collar because that's kind of what I wanted to do originally. So when I get more of that uh, base colored paint, I'll do some touching up and finish all that off up there. So let me give you a, uh, um, uh, a helicopter look. Here's that uh, helicopter view coming over it. I said I'll be uh, touching up at uh, reddish orange color when I get some more of that so I think that looks pretty cool so the next step will be uh, using uh, sandpaper to sand that down lightly after it dries then uh, it'll be nice to get some more of that paint so I could get all that uh, white stuff covered up My friends, that's a that's a wrap in this uh, step video on painting the asphalt. I really enjoy making these videos because it shows it coming to life. And then when my wife and I or my family rewatches these videos, we get to remember some of these steps that we're making here. So uh, we won't be running any trains until I get this done. And I'm just gonna leave the bridge off. It's a little bit easier that way, but. Check back in the next step, my friends, as we do a light sanding on this and um, age it a little bit. And then we're going to put the uh, yellow and white lines on there. And then we're going to put some lighted cars underneath the bridge. You don't want to miss those videos. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel.